The instinct of a horse is the spirit of the species. It's a combination of emotions and talent. The instinct has hardwired patterns for behavior. But let's first look at who are having a brain. All animals which have a vertebrate have a brain, so they can move and of course behave. Species with a brain are fishes, amphibians, reptiles, birds, mammals. And each species has a body and of course a brain that fits. It's the brain they need to be the one who, who you are. So you can live the life that fits for that species. Some animals can move but have no brain. Like for instance the insects. They don't have a brain. They can move, they can hunt, they look like they have eyes, but they have brain cells. That gives them the same information that they need to survive. Horses do have a brain. They have to learn a lot. We know that. Captivity or in freedom, they have to learn. Cats also have a brain. They also have to learn. And they are very have a lot of behavior. Guinea pigs have a brain. And of course, dogs have a brain. They have a brain too. And they're also animals who have to learn a lot. Each species has a body and brain that fits. What I found remarkable was that the basic of the brain is for all species the same. It's built on the same basics. And it's all meant to be to live, survive and reproduce. Some of course have a simple brain and some have a more complicated brain, a bigger brain. And it's all meant to be so they can be, all can live who they are, the way they have, are meant to be. Birth decides what species you are. Like for instance, chickens, horses, cats, dogs and humans. And the life decides who you are. Depends on how much you have to learn. The more sophisticated the brain is, the more flexible the animal is. So you have learning animals and very basic instinctual animals. Horses live by instinct, but also by intelligence. The instinct is there and the animal has to learn during his life. Let me explain the ABC of the brain. It looks a little bit like a cauliflower, except that the brain has two similar parts which are connected. Both parts are exactly the same. The brain inside the head has to grow and for a horse it takes eight years before he is sort of mature. The first teacher is his mother and a horse it takes a village to raise a child, it takes a village to raise a horse. They learn by example, they, they watch other horses, watch other behavior so they can decide to follow the others yes or no. Like on this picture this horse is showing the other horse to come. The brain is always inside the skull, well protected. If you should draw a line from ear to eye, you, that's exactly where the brain is. The brain is connected with the vertebrate. And let's start with A. It's on the, underneath the brains. If you follow the black line from ears to tail, you will see the vertebrate. That's the part where the spinal cord is well protected. It's inside the vertebrate. The spinal cord connects the body senses, so the horse can move and respond. Inside the spinal cord, which is connected to the small part, which is called the cerebellum, also called the small brain, it's B, the little brain, that's the part that connects the whole nervous system with the cerebellum. That's where the basic functions come from. That's where the instinct is. This part is responsible for the control of the body. Breath, heart, organs, temperature, drink, balance and all basic functions are there. Also the involuntary reflexes and the vital functions. A and B are the parts where all behavior comes from. The cerebellum is the oldest part of the brain. It used to be smell, the smell center, and that's where the basic instinct and the behavior comes from. The smell center used to be the part of the feelings. It always tells the truth. Horses 
have a very sophisticated nose. The hairs of the nose are also nerves. So the horse smell and feel at the same time. They actually have three ways to smell. This is, for instance, Fleming for the very close smell. Smell gives them all information about the emotions, the senses of the other one. Animals still use the smell to feel the emotions of others. Of course, smell is also for the basic function, like in hot water. Smell and eyes together give the animal the information he needs. Smell is very instinctual behavior. The big part is the more sophisticated part. It's the cerebrum. It's the mammal brain, what we easily call the mammal brain. That's the part where the thinking comes from, the intelligence. And each animal has the intelligence he or she needs. The cerebrum. It's a very important part and it's also called the neocortex. It's about thinking and learning. The more regular the curves are on the brain, the more sophisticated the animal has and the more flexibility he has for behavior. So the owner can move or rest. This is the ABC of the brain and the brain is the cockpit of life. But there is more. One of the main things of, to remember is that everything is happening in the brain. There, have, there is the basic brain, the mammal brain and the neocortex. And the neocortex is the part where the thinking comes from. It has, the brain has two parts, the left side and the right side. And there are all talents inside this brain. What I thought was very, very interesting is that all the domesticated horses or animals, which are in total 14 big mammals, all had specific ways of living. They're all high social. So that's a thing to remember. And that's where we're going to make the next movie from. Thank you for watching.